Hi guys and gals out in YouTube land, it's Miss Beverly back at you today with another wig review. Um, I really have a really interesting choice today and from a new site. Well, I, it's not really a new site, it's a new site for me. Um, I've looked at a lot of wigs on their site uh, but hadn't really purchased anything and uh, I started kind of surfing uh, YouTube looking for some new um, wigs. Um, some different styles and uh, you know a lot of the wigs that I review no one has reviewed before um, and so then it when I do them I mean it's just like when I buy them it's just like you know uh, trial and error and as you guys have seen there's been a lot of errors <laughs> But um, I found uh, a video that Muffin is My Lovers did um, for this wig. And uh, the one I have for you is this one. Oops, wrong side. Sorry about that. This is Nyla in a color number two. It's from Beverly Johnson. It's part of her uh, handmade collection. Um, and it's 100% hand stitched. And here it's got a little picture on the back of how, you know, they stitch it or whatever it is. Um, it says, all day long comfort, you will forget you are wearing a wig. Well, I promise I will never forget I'm wearing a wig because I'm constantly afraid it's gonna blow off my head. <laughs> so I'm always checking, you know. Um, but anyway, uh, this is uh, the pure stretch cap, and I've seen that, you know, this is just whatever, you know, their or her version is of the stretch cap, you know. Um, so here's the wig. Let me go back a little ways so you guys can see her. She's long, uh, long layer, loose curl. Uh, a style I really like. Um, and here is the front of her. She's kind of got a little thin bang. And uh, let me show you the skin part. Interestingly enough, this is not a mono top, which probably would have been a little bit cooler had it, you know, with this 100% uh, hand tied cap if it would have been a mono top. But it is not. It has one of those plastic. Uh, skin parts there. Um, let's look at the inside of the cap because this is quite interesting and I, uh, the first wig that I've ever seen like this. Um, so let me just show you guys. Um, she has a comb in the front and this kind of uh, I don't know, it's kind of a soft ribbon-like across the front um, to help it, I guess, lay flat across the um, bang line. Um, and here's what the cap looks like. Now the top here, you know, it does have that skin, that fake plasticky skin top. And then it's got this kind of uh, lace type of netting. And then here is the rest of it. Now you can see my fingers through this. Um, and this is all around. It's got the stretch, kind of stretchy panel that you see a lot in the lace front wigs. Um, then, and what's interesting back here, and I don't particularly like this either because of this exact reason. It has the adjustable straps. Now, let me show you this one here. Because of the fact that the strap, oh shit, now I can't get it loose, okay. The strap is made into, see how it's made into the netting actually? And you pull it out to attach it. Let me just show you why I don't like that. Because of this. <laughs> You see what's happened there? And then it's kind of like that if you get those pants that are um, around the waist, you know, they have like the drawstring or whatever, and one side gets stuck in the hole and you're trying to fish it out. Well, that's exactly what I've already had to do twice with this one because it comes loose and then that's exactly what happens there. 
So, um, but nevertheless, um, the hair texture is really soft. Of course, you know, it's 100% synthetic, so it obviously is going to tangle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw her on even though I and deal with the uh, adjustable strap problem later. So I'm just going to look at my mirror over here and kind of fix that comb. Now, this cap is super, super loose. Loose. Wee, wee. You know. Um, so she is definitely, uh, definitely going to need um, some bobby pins. Even with um, the wig attached, the um, adjustable straps attached all the way to the smallest um, setting, it's still a little bit big. So, um, what, uh, what I've done is use a couple of these extra, extra long, um, extra long bobby pins. And it actually, uh, it actually helps to hold it down. Um, this is kind of, let me show you the curls here, kind of what this looks like. And uh, the bang, well, you know, it's, it's a touch on the, here you go. Uh, let me swoop it to the side and show you guys the skin part. It kind of has, and you know, if you look at this picture here, you kind of see how it, oops, how it looks a little, you know, bouffant on her head, you know what I'm saying? Uh, which is not a good look. Um, so I guess I could probably put it on the wig head. I haven't done that yet. And see if I could get that out a little bit. Let me show you the back. Okay. Okay. Now. Here is the movement of the hair. It's great movement, very soft, very realistic looking hair. Um, no, I kind of like how the curls hang. Uh, the, uh, let me show you the side, okay. Uh, really cool looking curls, I like this style. Um, does shed quite a bit. Um, and I don't know if that's kind of common with the hand tied wigs um, or the hand make. I'm not really sure. This is my first one I've actually had. I've had several of the hand tied, but uh, this is my first, you know, 100% handmade. Um, it uh, came from House of Beauty, House of Beauty World. And it uh, was $39.95, I believe, which is a really good price. Um, the uh, other sites, I kind of looked it up online, and uh, a lot of the other sites had it for about $50. Um, House of Beauty World, uh, like I said, $39.95, had um, pretty reasonable shipping, and it got here within just like three or four days or something. So, very impressed with them. Um, Came regular mail. I, I don't even think it was that long. It might have been three days um, from the time I placed the order to the time it got to the door. So that's one of the best. And I did not pay any extra for rapid shipping or anything like that. It was just regular postal service. So um, kudos to House of Beauty World. And I would highly recommend that you guys check them out. I put the link below um, so uh, you guys can check them out. Uh, my kids, of course, in the background making a ton of noise, so uh, I'll be back at you guys again. Be sure to check out the contest going on right now. Um, I'm not sure exactly when this video will go up, but the contest ends on August 31st. Um, I've got a lot of great entries, so uh, you guys join in. Join in the fun. And until next time, rock on. Bye-bye.